It's been 20 years since a woman has held a congressional seat for South Carolina, and 7th Congressional Democratic Party candidate Gloria Bermel Tanubu is ready to change that. This is not about me. This is about um, our future and our children's future, and that we have to do all we can to pass on to them something better than what we found. This is the first race for the 7th congressional seat as it was created from the 2010 census results. The seat covers eight different counties with extreme variations in socioeconomic backgrounds. But Tanubu says her rich history in South Carolina connects her to everyone. We pretty much connect with the people that we have been talking to and they connect with us. And um, we believe that we can really transform our communities and transform the state in the process. A recent poll from Winthrop University shows Republican Tom Rice is leading Tanubu by 12 percent. But Tanubu says her campaign isn't defined by those numbers. This last uh, election demonstrated where the power really lies. You know, even though the pundits and everyone said that, you know, I didn't have a chance, I was behind in the polls, well, the people you know, with the power of the vote, demonstrated something very different. And I expect the same thing on November 6th. Earlier in the year, Tanubu asked those who voted for her in the primary to bring five more voters each to the polls. But now she's upping the ante. We're telling people this time, instead of bringing five, bring 50 people to the polls, bring 100 people to the polls, because, of course, everything is magnified really 10 times as we go into the general election. You can no longer register to vote, but Tanubu says she is going to work during these last 29 days to pull every registered voter she can her way. I really uh, believe that we can convert uh, people from um, the other side to our side and, um, and, and, and also just work with people as Republicans. Um, the good thing about the way our polling, I mean our polls are is that people can vote as a Republican for a Democrat and so I expect that a lot of that will happen as well.